Yo, what's up, Swag? And you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, King LR, a.k.a. KL Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, we about to react to the 10 NFL superstars who have their own signature moves. Like, God damn, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. I really want to see this, bro. All I really know is Gronkowski, bro, with the spike, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. I really feel like you guys are going to really enjoy this, man. So let's just get into the reaction. So oh, many yeah. of our favorite athletes have had that one signature maneuver that they're known for. NFL players are certainly no exception to this. Whether it's a slick throw or pass rush. Ooh, oh, Odell sort, Beckham. These 10 NFL stars have had that one signature move that they have clearly made their own. Aaron Rodgers, the Hail Mary pass. Rodgers won't retire with a ton of major records or the most Super Bowl rings, but there's a strong case to be made that he's the most complete all-around quarterback the game has ever seen. That's true. Rodgers' skills are simply out of this world. His pinpoint accuracy, insanely low interception numbers, his ability to take advantage of free plays, it goes on and on. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, boy. Hey, y'all boys, man. Jordy Nelson was really like that, bro, when he was playing for Green Bay. I mean, he was really like that, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I miss those days, bro, watching Jordy Nelson, man. man when lie. Rodgers is retired 10 years from now, will mostly associate this guy as the master of the Hail Mary pass. Rodgers has perfected the art of the Hail Mary throw. The three-time MVP has completed not one, not two, but three of these already in his Hall of Fame career, and they all occurred over the stretch of two seasons. The first, of course, was the iconic miracle in Motown when the Packers walked off the Detroit Lions on Thursday Night Football Oh, I remember that. In the 2015 season. Get there. He turned 32 yesterday. Does he have a vintage moment in him? In the end zone. Damn. One month later, Rodgers hit Jeff Janis at the buzzer to send the Packers into overtime of their NFC Divisional Round tilt against the Arizona Cardinals. Yes, the Packers wound up losing in the extra frame thanks to Larry Fitzgerald's heroics, but the fact that the game got to OT in the first place is ridiculous. Rodgers is going to roll away. Throws it up in the air, says a prayer, and Janice does it. And then in the 2016 NFC World round against the New York Giants, Rodgers attempted a Hail Mary at the end of the first half, and Randall Cobb answered the call. They're going to air it out. Rodgers does this better than anybody. End zone, Cobb! Damn! Oh, my say, God! I've never seen anyone do this better than Rodgers. Patrick Mahomes, the no-look pass. Oh, my City God, Chiefs bro. Don't let me get started with Patrick Mahomes, bro. This dude is disgusting, bro. I mean, Patrick Mahomes is nasty, bro. The no-look pass? Quarterback has quickly taken the NFL by storm. It took Mahomes only one season as a starter to establish himself as a new face of the league. Mike Rogers, Mahomes just has these unhuman-like skills that simply cannot be put into words. He's the ultimate highlight reel machine, making the most impossible plays look easy. To us, nothing about Patrick Mahomes is more signature than the art of his no-look passes. The most memorable instance came in Week 14 of the 2018 season against the Baltimore Ravens. Even though this one fell incomplete, Mahomes' no-looker against the Oakland Raiders three weeks later is where the... Damn. Mahomes also did the Pro Bowl a month later against the best of the best. We did see this a lot. I mean, look at him. He doesn't even look. He knows out, out of his ah. peripheral vision. <laughs> We're not done either. In week one of the 2019 season against the Jacksonville Jaguars, he gave it another go. Although in this instance, he missed a wide open Travis Kelsey in the end zone. This ball's going to get away from Mahomes. Oh, no look. Should have yeah. looked. Yeah, no look, no complete. And he That's sure crazy. made it look easy on this play during the 20. I don't even know why he even tried to do that, though. Like, you, like he's trying to do a no look pass, bro, and you miss literally Travis Kelsey in the end zone, bro. Like, you're tripping, bro. But I'm not going to lie. Patrick Holmes is the new GOAT in our generation, bro. I'm going to lie, bro. 2020 scrimmage. He really liked that. Oh, this is scrimmage? Damn. Damn! I'm dead. And in week eight of the 2020 season against the New York Jets, Mahomes pulled it off again. No way. And now he is thrown oh my God. Kelsey, touchdown. Seriously, how does he do it and with such ease? 
Man. It's chemistry, bro. I'm gonna say it's the chemistry, bro. That's all it is, bro. Everybody know what Pat Mahomes gonna do on the Chiefs, bro. They are like like they already know they practice this. Baseball bat chemistry, man. Paid dividends, all right. Aaron Donald, the jump shot. Donald's what? firmly established himself as the NFL's best defensive player, and quite frankly, it's not even close. He's the most dominant defensive player since Lawrence Taylor, and his three Defensive Player of the Year awards over a four-year span speak for themselves. For Donald, wrecking havoc in the trenches doesn't only stem from his six-foot-one, 280-pound frame. He also has this unique jump-chop move that has terrorized offensive linemen and quarterbacks since 2014. What Donald likes to do is chop at the blocker's arm. He then jumps around the blocker, which allows him to get to the quarterback. Watch Damn. closely how he chops down on the wrist with one hand, swats it away with the other, then jumps around his blocker on this play. Wow. Damn. This is a special technique that has made Donald virtually unblockable, even when he faces double teams. LaShawn McCoy juking. The two-time Super Bowl champion may not be a Hall of Famer, and he simply won't be regarded as the best running back of his era, but few players have perfected the art of juking like McCoy. In his prime, McCoy's play was reminiscent of Barry Sanders, who is literally the goat of juking. Three. And this is going to wrap it up. Oh, my and God. With both the Philadelphia Eagles and Buffalo Bills, McCoy racked up the extra yardage by dancing his way through defenders. His ankle-breaking moves were breathtaking, and defenses just didn't have an answer for him in open space. Yeah, that's true. Snap, it away, it's been a long, long time since we saw that version of McCoy, but it was truly a joy to watch him pull off the Madden-like moves time and time again for nearly a decade. Rob Gronkowski, Gronk Spike. So technically, this isn't a football play, but rather a form of TD celebration. Still, it's iconic and signature enough to be included on our list. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, it's iconic. has a short and sweet celebration for every single touchdown that he scores. And trust us, there have been a lot of them. Anytime he gets into the end zone, Gronk likes to spike the ever-living crap out of the football. Maybe that explains why Tom Brady's balls were so deflated. Bouncer Jinx is here as Brady's pass. It's Gronkowski! Back again! The biggest tip! Sure, this is a common celebration that's been around forever, but there's just something about Gronk's version that makes it so much more epic. I mean, there's a reason why we all call it the Gronk Spike now. Yes, what a catch! Gronkowski, touchdown! Here's hoping the New England Patriots put a Gronk Spike statue outside of Gillette Stadium at some point after his playing career. Odell Beckham Jr., the one-handed catch. Wait, that one-handed catch. Made quite literally the greatest catch in NFL history during Sunday Night Football in Week 12 of the 2014 season. All it's these crazy. years later, and we still don't know how he managed to come up with that ball while being blatantly interfered with. And Manning's gonna I still can't believe he made that catch. Is, oh, there's a flag. Beckham catch that. The thing is, that was only one of the many one-handed catches OBJ has made throughout his NFL career. He's done it so often now that it's actually become his very own signature play. One year later, Beckham pulled off another one of his patented one-handed grabs in a Week 4 2015 road game against Damn. the Buffalo Bills. It didn't count because he was out of bounds, but the effort was highlight-worthy anyway. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Practice makes perfect, they say. And you can often find Beckham practicing his one-handed grabs on the field before games. Even after he was traded to the Cleveland Browns, Beckham maintained his one-handed artistry. Cleveland, and Jets fans for that matter, will never forget this slick one-handed grab in week two of the 2019 campaign on Monday Night Football. Second and 12, Mayfield wants all of it. Damn! Now that's so just straight embarrassing. For stick -up. Khalil Mack, the long arm rush. He's not quite at Aaron Donald's level, but Mack has pieced together a Hall of Fame career with his world-class pass-rushing abilities. For Donald, it's the jump chop, but for Mack, it's all about the long arm rush. The 6'3", 269-pound Mack has an arm length off 33 and 1 4 inches, and he puts it to tremendous use. Mack's long arm extension allows him to place more force and pressure on the opposing offensive lineman as he forces his way into the pocket. For instance, just look at the way he bullied Tristan Wirfs, who's listed at 6'5", 320 pounds. After bringing Damn. down Brady for a sack, Mack threw the rookie into the ground with just one arm. And again, Damn. this is a guy who has a major size advantage on Mack. going to work around him and get to Brady. He's got him one-on-one. -on -one. He said, get your fat ass to the ground. 
Guys of his size just aren't supposed to have that kind of mobility, speed, and all-around athleticism. You sound like single-handedly turn the Bears' defense. I'm not gonna lie, but that nigga Khalil Mack big as fuck, though. Khalil Mack is big as hell, bro. God damn, what is this dude eating, man? That's into one of the NFL's best. On the flip side, how much the Las Vegas Raiders unit has regressed since trading That dude is huge, bro. Look at the size of his arms. It's this special arm rush technique that has made Mack one of the game's most dynamic players. It's why he's consistently in the running for the Sacks title and the Defensive Player of the Year. Vaughn Miller's spin move. His unique skill set has helped Miller emerge as one of the NFL's most dynamic pass rushers ever. He is a oh, I love Vaughn Miller. The snap count. And when you couple that with his spin move, it makes for a long... I'm not going to lie, bro. If I was literally 6, at least 6'1", 6'2", 6, 6, 6'3", bro, I would be the nastiest defense, um, defense lineman, bro. I'm not going to lie. The nasty defense in the end, bro. Like, Vaughn Miller literally inspired me when I was playing in high school, bro, when I was playing defense in the end. Outside linebacker, bro. Von Miller is nasty, bro. Damn. All day at the office for opposing offenses. Former Indianapolis Colts star Dwight Freeney mastered the whole spin move thing. In fact, ahead of the Week 5 2016 game against Freeney's Atlanta Falcons, Miller said he had to credit 65% of his spin move to Freeney. As for the remaining 35%, Miller credits himself for that. Fittingly enough, Miller had one of those signature moments in his game against Atlanta. For first down, he's going down. Here comes the moves. Fakes the power. He puts his best white. Dwight oh my God! Both players became centerpieces on an elite defensive group that helped their respective teams to a Super Bowl. For Freeney, it was the 2006 Colts. For Miller, it was the 2015 Denver Broncos. Miller's footwork, speed, and agility, which is incredible for a guy of his size, is what sets him apart from most other pass rushers. Blocking him one on one is tough. Enough. Grammar that is crazy, bro. Like, God, damn. Which makes accomplishing your work goals easier than ever. Enough. And when he escapes with a spin move, good luck stopping it. In his repertoire, I think he's going to be a real player. Third and five, he keeps this play alive. Offensive linemen just aren't prepared for Miller's spin move. Not in moment, the tackle's goal is to keep Miller from zooming by him on the outside. The last thing he's expecting is this beast of a man to pull off a spin move within a split second before flying by on the inside. Tom Brady quarterback sneak. This one is simple yet oh so effective. Tom Brady is the winningest player in NFL history. He does all the little things right. He can make all the right throws and all the right reads. But surprisingly for Brady, when it comes to a signature move, it actually comes by way of the ground game. No one, and I mean no one, pulls off the QB sneak like TB12. You might say big deal is just a one-yard sneak. But what's admirable is that while almost every other quarterback prefers to hand the ball off to their running back on short yards. That's crazy, bro. Brady is Brady afraid like he to moving. risk his own body for those extra inches. And it's not just only effective when he needs less than a yard. Brady will happily bull his way into the end zone from multiple yards out. Ball game. Brady's going to keep it. I ain't gonna lie, that is a signature move, though. She also did the QB sweep. Not to mention that Brady also scored the game-winning touchdown against the Ravens in the 2011 AFC Championship game on a QB keeper. Brady says, I can pick that up myself. Leaps in the air, and he almost goes straight the goal line. Feet overhead. As easy as it may seem, there's actually an art to successfully converting the QB sneak. For starters, you need to secure that snap properly. Then you must find the right hole to exploit. And finally, you have to drive through that hole before it's gone. Although hanging on to the ball is a power. I like that, Brady. Try to rip it from your grasp. It's not as easy as Brady makes it look. Derrick Henry, stiff arm. Running oh my God, it's still far with Derrick Henry, bro. During an NFL game. But they're not usually the biggest, strongest, or toughest unless they're six foot three and 247 pounds like Derrick Henry. If you're fast enough to catch up to him, he'll run you over. If you're strong enough to tackle him, he'll probably outrun you. There's just no easy way of dealing with the two-time rushing champion. For Henry, his signature play is easily the stiff arm. It's not an easy move to pull off in the NFL these days. Ooh, the Henry is absolutely oh, bullied some of his opponents with him. Namely, Josh oh Taylor during God, the Week bro. 5 2020 game against the Bills. Oh, nah, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, my God. Gosh, you me, bro. You thought that was harsh? Just check out what he did to Alex Myers of the Lions in Week 15. That was disgusting. Look at this. So embarrassing, bro. You had a grown-ass man to Get to the ground. And who can forget what he did to perennial Pro Bowl safety Earl Thomas in the Titans' stunning 2019 AFC Divisional Round blowout against the Ravens. Henry. Henry takes it to the outside. Oh, the stiff arm. 
<laughs> These are just some of the many signature Derrick Henry stiff arms. It's a move that has allowed him to rack up the yardage after contact, which has led to consecutive rushing titles in 2019 and 2020. Ask any NFL defender which signature move yeah. they prefer to avoid the most, and my bet is 100% of them will answer Derrick Henry stiff arm. What other NFL players have a signature move? Join us in the comment section down below. Actually, bro, I don't even know all the other um, players that have signature moves, but I would say Derrick Henry has the best one, bro, the stiff arm. But anyways, man, make sure you comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Welcome to